7.30 right now. I got to sleep in a little bit. As you can see, I got my uh, morning face going on. And for some reason, like all my clients keep canceling or like moving their schedule arounds. So it, it's good and bad. The good part is, is I get to sleep in and I have extra time to work on stuff. The bad news is if you have clients that have sessions and they just keep pushing the sessions back, then you don't get paid for a longer amount of time. I'm just giving you guys the truth of being a personal trainer. So if you guys didn't know, I did a cut back from uh, July until around like October. Uh, I got pretty shredded up, had visible abs, strength was still really good. Um, however, it did go down a little bit, so I decided to do a pretty solid bulk, like making sure that I was building solid muscle and not doing a dirty bulk, so it was more of a clean bulk, eating good food, uh, but just more calories. I'm back up to around like 2.30ish. I'm not really concerned with aesthetics, I'm more concerned with performance and strength, so that's the difference. Uh, I've gotten the abs and I've realized that there's more to life than having abs, and to be able to move and perform um, and have awesome strength, to me, is way better than being ripped and aesthetic, I guess. So yeah, that's just my opinion, but I'm going to go ham on this breakfast right now. The workout rolling today, what we have on tap is front squats, three by five, uh, sumo or conventional deadlifts, power clean plus strict press, uh, dumbbell rows, dumbbell side raises, dumbbell bent over uh, side raises, and that's about it. So we'll bang that out, get a nice pump, get some strength work in, and call it a day. deadlifts the difference between bodybuilding and strength programming and strength programming usually involves full body movements so there's no separation between uh, body parts like when you bodybuild it's chest and tries or back and biceps or chest and back so strength is normally like you do your press your squat you know your pull sometimes all in the same day uh, depending on the program but it's a little bit more full body than it is specific body parts Deadlifts, 
Make sure that you always hold your breath through the movements. The moment you breathe during a deadlift is the moment that your spine isn't supported and you're gonna crumble. So every time I do the deadlift, I take a big deep breath, hit my reps, and then drop the bar. One more, one more, PR, let's go. Up, 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 squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt. Push, 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 push. Come on, right arm, left arm. Damn, that was so gnarly. That is how you fight for a PR, folks. All right, so everybody's looking for testosterone boosters and ways to increase their strength when the secret lies in compound movements. Big, heavy compound movements shoots your HGH production up as long as you're or as well as your testosterone levels. So be doing these big compound movements and get great results. good delicious healthy way to make a taco all right what we got here is a healthier version of a tortilla from Trader Joe's put that in the microwave for 20 seconds a little bit of cheese on there too so cheese is optional but a little bit of cheese never hurt nobody and we'll just throw some ground turkey on there, handful of spinach, 